Hey everyone, we're here live at CSM in New Orleans. I'm Jillian McLean. I'm the American Physical Th Therapy Association Student Assembly Director of Communications, and I'm here with Key Pack. He is our PT Pack student liaison. Um, throughout the conference, I'll be interviewing different students and early professionals, kind of what their value is, um, different various organizations. So stay tuned for those through today and tomorrow. So Key, what is the PT Pack? So the PT Pack is the Physical Therapy Political Action Committee. So what they do is they basically help legislate for physical therapy at Capitol Hill, um, basically pushing physical therapy issues into the you know the House and Senate. So okay, and what is the value behind the PT Pack? Why is it important? So the value behind it, that's a, that's a great question. And I think too many times people kind of overlook the, the PT PAC. So one of the things I want to mention is that um, there's a big misconception about uh, PT PAC donations. So mm -hmm. most people think that your APT membership dues actually go towards the PT PAC. And that's actually not true. Okay. Uh, it's against federal law for that, to, for that to happen. So the PT PAC was created 45 years ago. Okay. or about uh, in order to basically have a voice on Capitol Hill and basically push physical therapy issues in legislation. So the value behind it, well, you know, everyone's definition of value is very individualized. So for me, I'm actually a, um, a Century Club member, a second year PTA student. I donated $100 last year. So I have a lot of value in it because I believe in, you know, preserving our future of the profession, I'll make sure I have a job, uh, basically, make sure I don't lose any scope of my practice. So for me, that's, that's the value of it. Uh, I think for another point to make is that, well, I might not want to make a donation today, but I think it's really good to think about, um, you know, if you don't want to donate today, um, think about chiros that aren't uh, donating. Uh, the chiros are, are, are donating to their professional uh, uh, advocacy committees. Um, you know, orthopedic surgeons are donating to theirs as well. So, you know, you might not think want to donate today, but think about all the other professions that are wanting to take away our scope of practice. So, I think that's value in itself. And I think it's really important. Um, and then, how as a student can we get involved, and why is it important to start early as a student? So, yeah, um, as a student, you know, we all have debt. It's very difficult. It's, it's you know, a lot of people say it's what well, you know, twenty dollars. If everyone was doing twenty dollars, we'd be the largest pack on uh, healthcare pack on Capitol, and that's that's, that's a pretty big thing. And twenty dollars, it may seem like a lot today, but um, it's five Starbucks coffees. Um, it's it's all about seeing the value and seeing that your your donation dollars are going towards real change, especially with the therapy cap. Uh, repeal, you know, that was real change that was, you know, that happened over the course of 20 years of, you know, constant battling and constant fighting. Um, and there's not enough members, ABTA members, that, don't, that donate to the PAC. So imagine if we had every m member that donated to the PAC, how much more we could do, how much more successful we could be. So. Well, thank you for all your time, Keith. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the week and we'll keep you in the loop. Awesome.